Good afternoon, and welcome to the 2024 Okaloosa Schools Academic Tournament. This year, we have six schools from Okaloosa County going head-to-head -head in a double elimination tournament format. These standout students will be displaying their knowledge of math, science, history, fine arts and literature, pop culture, and more to determine our tournament champion for 2024. I'm your host and moderator, Stella Versweivelt. Lisa Nall will be our timekeeper and scorekeeper, while Howard White and Terry Wade will serve as our chief judges and make the final decisions on all things official. Howard White is a retired engineer. The first half of his career, he studied explosion effects on protective structures for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in Mississippi. In 2002, he moved to Eglin and worked at the Air Force Research Laboratory, researching various ordnance technologies. He retired in 2020 after a 37-year career with the Department of Defense. Mr. Terry Wade is a native of Niceville, Florida and graduated from Niceville High School and received a Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering at the University of South Alabama. He has a 31-year career primarily designing fielded radio frequency and digital project, products. He works on Eglin Air Force Base at the J Primes facility, an RF anechoic chamber for aircraft electronic warfare testing. His current design is a cognitive electronic warfare receiver. Today's teams are from Niceville High School and Choctahatchee High School. We're going to take a quick break to hear from our other Okaloosa County schools and we'll be back shortly to introduce our team members. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and introduce our coaches and teams for today's match. From Niceville High School, the coach is Justin Reichert and the team members are... Morgan Harrington, Jr. Kira Tuper, Sr. Cassandra Price, Jr. Adam Jarvis, Sr. And from Choctahatchee High School, our coach is Elizabeth Crandall and our team members are... Asher Newcomer, Freshman. Thomas Carrenti, Sr. Ogdantine, 10th grade. Tyson Smith, freshman. Okay, so we'll move right into toss-up question number one. The subject is miscellaneous. September of 2023 marked 25 years since this man voluntarily sat out a game against the New York Yankees when he would have played third base instead of shortstop. On the night he broke the record for which he is most famous, his Baltimore Orioles team sold box seats to raise money for research into Lou Gehrig's disease. Name this baseball Hall of Famer who played in more than 2,600 consecutive games. Babe Ruth. That is not correct. Lou Gehrig. That is not correct. The answer was Cal Ripken Jr. Moving on to toss-up question number two, the subject is history. Arctic explorer Charles Hall, Russian defector Alexander Litvinenko, the Roman Emperor Claudius, and the Spanish conquistador Juan Ponceleon all suffered what manner of death that was self-inflicted by the Carthaginian general Hannibal, Adolf Hitler, and Socrates? Suicide. That is not correct. Shooting themselves? That is not correct. They were all poisoned. They were all poisoned. Okay, moving on to toss up question number three. The subject is math. Pencils and paper ready. Find the determinant of the matrix whose top row is four and negative one and whose bottom row is negative five and six. Nineteen. That is correct. Okay, Choctaw, your bonus question is in the social sciences. Give these phrases related to credit cards from their definitions by the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Part A. This two-word phrase is the time between the end of a billing cycle and the date your payment is due. Time. 
Okay. The answer was grace period. Grace period. Mm -hmm. Part B. This three-word phrase, abbreviated APR, is the standard way to compare how much loans cost. Actual pay rate? Actual pay rate? Or approximate average? Mm -hmm. That's not good. Right? Time. Okay, the answer was annual percentage rate. Oh. Okay, toss-up number four is in science. Yep. Its most common type is called inguinal and results in part of your bowel entering your inner thigh. A hiatal one of these causes part of your stomach to enter your chest, Why an umbilical one causes part of your intestine to poke out near your belly button. Name this medical condition that requires surgery to stick part of an organ back into its original body cavity. Prolapse. That is not correct. Time. Okay, the answer is hernia. Hernia. Toss of question number five is in social studies. Though he guarded the coats of those who stoned St. Stephen, this man became a zealous Christian after speaking with Jesus on the road to Damascus. What apostle who regained his sight after three days of blindness eventually wrote a series of letters? Paul? Yes, that is correct. Your bonus, Choctaw, is in fine arts. Answer these about Russian composer Sergei Rachmaninoff. Part A. He once said, I have never been quite able to make up my mind as to which was my true calling, that of a composer or a conductor of which instrument? Violin. That is not correct. It was the piano. Part B. In 1929, he created a piano version of Rimsky Korsakov's Flight of This Creature. The bees. Like a bumblebee? It's like a Commodore. Bumblebee or just being Commodore? Commodore? I, I feel like it's Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Yes, the flight of the bumblebee. That is correct. All right, toss up question number six is in the fine arts. An eagle perched on a scepter was held by this seated statue's left hand while this statue's right hand held a smaller statue of the goddess of victory. The geographer Strabo estimated its height at about 40 feet before it was carried away. Uh, the Athena Parthenos. That is not correct. I'll repeat the question for Choctaw. Okay? An eagle perched on a scepter was held by this seated statue's left hand, while this statue's right hand held a smaller statue of the goddess of victory. The geographer Strabo estimated its height at about 40 feet before it was carried away by the Byzantines in the 5th century AD and later destroyed by fire. Identify this wonder of the ancient world, a sculpture by Phidias of the king of the Greek gods. The Colossus of Rhodes? That is not correct. It is the statue of Zeus at Olympia. Statue of Zeus. Toss up question number seven is in math. Pencils and paper ready. Solve for x if 5x plus 12 equals negative 3x minus 4. Negative 8. And that is not correct. Two? That is not correct either. The answer is negative two. Negative, negative two. Okay, moving on to toss up question number eight is in social sciences. Cities in this country include Kananga and Lubumbashi. Provinces in this country include the Northeast Province Oriental. Kasai Occidental and Oriental, and the Southeast Province of Katanga that borders the Democratic Republic of the Congo. That is absolutely right. Your bonus is in math. Pencils and paper ready. A circle has a radius of eight feet. In terms of pi as needed, give part A the length of one fourth of the circle. The 
answer was four pi. Part B is the circle's area. It's 64 pi. 64 pi. That is correct. Okay. All right. Toss up question number nine is in science. Pencils and paper ready. Two moles of ammonium nitrate, NH4NO3, can be decomposed into two moles of N2, one mole of O2, and how many moles of water? Okay, the correct answer was four. Four. Okay, toss up question number 10 is in language arts. In the sentence, now the room is ready, the word now is this part of speech because, as the old schoolhouse rock song says, it describes how, where, or when, condition, or reason. Name this part of speech that is often created from an adjective by adding the suffix L-Y. Adverb. That is correct. All right, Niceville, your bonus is in fine arts. Answer these about the Japanese artist Katsushika Hokusai. Part A. His first drawing instruction manual was called Basic Instruction in this type of art that uses a pencil or pen on paper to make a quick drawing. Sketch. Sketch. That is correct. Part B. One of his most famous works is a woodblock printing of a great one of these natural phenomena seen regularly in the ocean. Wave. It's a great wave. Wave. Yes, that is correct. All right, toss up question 11 is in math. Pencils and paper ready. In slope intercept form, give the equation for the line containing the points 1, negative 4, and 5, and 8. 1, negative 4, and 5, 8. Y equals 3X minus 7? That is correct. Okay, your bonus is in social sciences. This terrorist organization attacked Israel in the fall of 2023. Part A, identify this group that governs the Gaza Strip bordering Israel. Hamas. I defer to Adam. Hamas. That is correct. Part B, the Israeli response was led by this prime minister of the country. That's Ukrainian. Okay. Zukov? That is not correct. Uh, the answer was Benjamin Netanyahu. That's the half. Okay. That's the course. end of our first half. We'll be back after these messages with our score. Welcome back. We have a halftime score of Choctahatchee 50, Niceville 45. Both schools have a substitution, and now these students will introduce themselves. Jacob Mills, junior. AJ Branch, sophomore. Okay, and we'll proceed on to toss up question 12. The subject is history. As a young man, he fought for the Holy Roman Empire against the Ottomans, but then had to escape from Ottoman slavery. Later, as president of the colony in Jamestown, he helped save the others by putting a compulsory work program into effect. Name this English captain who explored the Chesapeake Bay after his life was saved by Chief Powhatan's daughter, Pocahontas. John Smith. That is correct. Choctaw, your bonus is, in, is a miscellaneous subject. Name the longtime coaches of these NFL teams as of the 2023 season. Part A, the Baltimore Ravens. Harbaugh, John, John Harbaugh. 
Defer to AJ. John Harbaugh. That is correct. Part B, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Mike Tomlin. Defer to AJ. Mike Tomlin. That's correct also. Toss-up question 13 is in literature. The flapper-era detectives Tommy and Twopence, the mystery writer Ariadne Oliver, the investigator Mr. Parker Pine, and the elderly St. Mary's Mead resident Miss Jane Marple were all characters created by what British mystery author most famous for her Belgian detective character Hercule Poirot? Agatha Christie. That is correct. Your bonus, Choctaw, is in history. Answer these about the U.S. in the 1950s. Part A. The U.S. Senate censured this senator from Wisconsin after his claims that universities and the federal government had been infiltrated by communist McCarthy. claims proven only decades after his death. McCarthy? That is correct. Part B. In 1954, the U.S. launched this first nuclear-powered submarine. I don't know what the name is. Thania. Thania. That is not correct. The answer was the USS Nautilus. Okay. Toss up number 14 is in social sciences. Besides requiring law enforcement agents to f in free states to arrest and deport those held to service or labor back to the states from where they'd escaped, this law also prescribed fines and jail time for anyone caught helping someone escape. The Fugitive Slave Law? That is correct. Your bonus is in math. Pencils and paper ready. Give the next number in each of these sequences. Part A, 5, 16, 49, 148. It's times 3 plus 1. What? It's times 3 plus 1. Oh. So 148 plus times 3, 150 times 3, 345, minus 6. Um. <sighs> the number was 445. Part B, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55. Uh, 34 plus 55. 89. 89. Yeah. 89. That is correct. Okay, toss up number 15 is in literature. In this novel, Earth is destroyed to make way for a hyperspace bypass. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That is correct. Your bonus is in history, nice spell. This war began in 1740 when Charles Albert of Bavaria, Philip V of Spain, and Augustus III of Saxony all claimed the throne of a powerful European nation after the death of Charles VI. Part A. Identify this war that ended eight years later with Maria Teresa on the throne of that nation. What's the war? The called? War of Spanish Succession. The war of Spanish Succession. Right? Is it right? Yes. The War of Spanish Suce Succession. That is not correct. It was the War of Austrian Succession. Um, part B. The war's end in 1748 came with the signing of a treaty named for the city where it was signed. Give either the city's French or German name. Um, I, I think mm. it's Belgium. Wouldn't it be Ghent? Like Belgium? Because otherwise it'd just be Paris. It'd Belgium? just be French. So yeah. just Belgium. Belgium? I think it's Ghent. Is that French? French? Belgium. The answer was Treaty of I La Chapelle. It's a treaty name. Toss up 16 is a miscellaneous subject. This character returns in a second edition of his video game in 2023. Set in New York, the game will feature the villains Spider Man. Yes, that is correct. Your bonus, Choctaw, is in science. In free space, permittivity equals 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12 square columns per Newton square meter. Part A Give the Greek letter used to represent permittivity. Uh, isn't like that M thing on calculator? I don't know. I don't know. 
The letter is epsilon, epsilon. Okay. Part B, give the two word term for the ratio of an insulating materials permittivity to the permittivity of free space, a term also used for the ratio of a capacitor filled with material to a capacitor filled with air. I don't know. Oh. Electrical conductivity. Oh, my. Electrical conductivity. That's not correct. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's dielectric constant. Dielectric constant. Taz of 17 is in history. Okay. This woman gained power after the winter of discontent in 1979 brought down the government of James Callaghan. A recession, a war against Argentina, and an... Margaret Thatcher. That is correct. Your bonus is in literature, Choctaw. Name these title men from Shakespeare plays. Part A. He learns from his father's ghost that his uncle Claudius is a murderer. In response, he creates a play based on the story attempting to make Claudius confess. Hamlet. Yes, that is correct. Part B. This Moorish general who defends Cyprus against the Turks strangles his wife to death after being convinced she is cheating on him. Othello. That is also correct. Okay, toss-up number 18 is in science. Along with liverworts and hornworts, this type of non-vascular plant makes up most... Fungus. That is not correct. I'll repeat the question for Choctaw. Along with liverworts and hornworts, this type of non-vascular plant makes up most species of bryophytes. Like fungus and mold, this organism reproduces using spores. Seen often in shady areas of the forest floor and a main ingredient of the heating fuel known as peat, which type of plant, according to an old proverb, is never gathered by a rolling stone? Mushroom. That is not <laughs> correct. The answer was moss. Toss-up question number 19 is in fine arts. This word means cheerful or lively in Italian. Give the seven letter term for this musical tempo between 100 and 130 beats per minute that is about 25% faster than a similar term that ends with the letters E-T-T-O. Furioso. That is not correct. Allegro? That is correct. Okay, your bonus is in history. Answer these about the Vietnam War. Part A. In 1968, North Vietnam launched a sneak attack on the first day of New Year celebrations, an attack known by this three-letter Vietnamese term for festival. Wait. H-U-E. Wait. Defer to Alec. Hue? That is not correct. The answer was Tet Offensive. No. Okay. okay, Part B, war protests at this state's Kent State University in 1970 resulted in four protesters being shot by the National Guard. I just guessed California. Um, wait, is it? It might be. I don't it's know. It's, I think it's, 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 it's asking for the state. Yeah. It's for the state. Yeah. Time. This, the state was Ohio, oh. Ohio. Our, okay, that's the end of our match. We'll be back in a moment with our final score. I chose to come to Collegiate High School because you get free college and your high school diploma at the same time, and that's the best opportunity for any high school student. I wanted to grow as an individual, and so I decided to move here to not be grouped into these different categories that you'd find in like traditional high schools. I came to Collegiate because I wanted to get used to college work and uh, just being in a college environment before I actually move on to um, a bigger university. The thing that makes Collegiate High different from other schools in Okaloosa County is that we're a small school. 
Uh, students that attend the Collegiate High School are not just a number. We know students by name because of the small school atmosphere. So what's, what's great about this school is that uh, all the faculty are here to help you. They want them to excel in their academic life and personal life. At the other schools, I, I felt like I wasn't quite being challenged enough in all the fields, but here, here it's like, you know, you have teachers that, that teach you well, and they teach you what's going to be applied in the future. Many students think that if you go to collegiate, you can't play sports, you can't be in music, you can't be a high school student, but I still went to homecoming. I still went to the football games. I had fun with all my friends. And collegiate doesn't take that away from you. It adds on to your amazing personality. In order to be successful at collegiate high school, motivation, student motivation. You have to be academically motivated because you'll be academically challenged. But when you go to a university, they'll see that you're dedicated and you're willing to take the course load that you'll be taking. I'd say if you come, come one thought. <laughs> this thought is that you are unstoppable. Because if you come here thinking, you know, there's going to be too much work, there will be. It's, it's not an easy school. It's a tough school. But you're going to come, and if you come thinking that nothing will stop, you, you will be successful, and you will be a college student. We have a final score of Choctaw 170, Niceville 50. Thank you to all of the students who participated in today's match, and thank you viewers for tuning in to watch this exciting event. We'd also like to thank our corporate sponsors, Microsystems Incorporated and Master Wall Incorporated. Stay tuned next time for further tournament action, and good night.